In the sands of North Africa, plans are underway to launch an ambitious solar energy project that will become a benchmark for meeting the world's future energy needs. Using thousands of mirrors to track and direct the heat of the Tunisian sun to generate electricity, the Tuanur Concentrating Solar Thermal Power Plant will ultimately produce 2 gigawatts of electricity, roughly double the average nuclear power plant. By building a low-loss transmission line to Italy, Tunur can deliver enough electricity to power approximately 700,000 European homes, testimony to the potential of African-based CSP power plants for European markets. And with none of the carbon and toxic emissions produced through conventional energy sources, the Tunur plant provides a viable and progressive blueprint for the energy production of the future. Tunur's array of mirrors will track and reflect the sun's rays onto a boiler atop a central tower. When the concentrated sunlight strikes the boiler's pipes, it heats the water inside to 550 degrees Celsius. The steam produced by the heated water is piped from a boiler to a turbine where electricity is generated. From here, transmission lines will carry the power all the way to Italy. Meanwhile, in order to conserve precious desert water, air cooling is used to convert the steam back into water. The water is then returned to the boiler in a closed, continuous loop. Connecting the southern and northern Mediterranean coasts, a new underwater power cable will link the African and European continents. The 600-kilometer high-voltage direct current cable will be laying across the Mediterranean seabed to transmit electricity from Tunisia into the Italian grid and onward into Europe. It's one of the largest scale solar export projects which is in development right now. The idea is to catalyze the establishment of a solar equipment industry in Tunisia by taking advantage of the higher European prices for solar electricity and using that to establish a supply chain in Tunisia for the production of solar equipment. And um, at the end of the day, the Tunisians will be left with a solar industry where they'll be able to make solar power plants for, uh, to generate electricity in Tunisia, but also a strong export industry The initial project, it's a two gigawatt project. It will be built in a modular fashion. It's an integral power plant plus transmission to Europe project, and you know, it's, it's two projects in one. And it's also quite an optimal economic entity for the supply chain to justify people coming in to build factories. Now, specifically, what type of factories could be built? Um, for example, um, a glass processing factory to take raw glass and to turn it into the mirrors for the heliostat. You know, there are literally hundreds of thousands of heliosats which would be required to build the solar fields. And um, so these, you know, you could actually establish a factory to build the control electronics. So the, the idea of the project is to make it large enough to attract, um, you know, the, the inward investment to build a local supply chain. That's our philosophy. The Arab Spring accelerated our activities in Tunisia dramatically. Um, we were basically um, stagnant, we were stuck a bit, and the Arab Spring and the new governments that have come in have been much more understanding, they're much more interested in having a dynamic economy, having innovation and doing things, they're very open to new ideas as this is a new idea, and it's been night and day. Our mission in, fundamentally includes um, being of service to the environment and mitigating um, climate change is really what is motivating us. So we're not, we're different than big corporate guys because we're all very dedicated individuals and we're dedicated to making a difference. And I think that's, that's really um, what has made the difference and why we're perceived differently because we are different.